This is Zach Zorn from Kessler Yachts, and today I'd like to introduce you to a legendary long-range sport fisher, Motivator. The Motivator is a highly customized 54 Pacifica that can help you achieve all of your fishing and entertaining dreams. Why don't you come on aboard and I'll show you what makes this vessel so special. Having initially begun her fishing journey in 1982, the Motivator underwent a three and a half year refit at Basin Marine in 2006. During this process, the engines were replaced, the tanks were replaced, all of the plumbing and wiring was made new, along with the cabinetry, hardware, and a lot of the other cosmetics and features that you see were made completely new. So for all intensive purposes, the Motivator is a 2006. Here in the cockpit, you have four distinct bait areas. You have a split tank here that totals 280 gallons and in the transom you have two split tanks that are 60 gallons a piece. At the bottom of those transom tanks are tuna tube inserts for if we wanted to go slow troll baits down in Cabo for black marlin or plumb them to try to keep flying fish alive or something like that. The cockpit deck is uh, teak along with teak covering boards and padded combing boards. As you'll see going through the vessel, there is CFAB stainless steel work everywhere you look, along with custom CFAB bait tank, hard top, and bucket or tower. You will not find a customized sport fisher like this on the west coast or anywhere in the world. This is a one-off boat that was extended four feet during the refit process. It initially started at as a 50 foot Pacifica and then four feet where it was added to the cockpit. Under the cockpit are three refrigeration or freezer compartments. You have starboard, port, and a forward one that runs under the bait tank here. These can be used as fish boxes, as freezers, as additional provision space. You can go to Mag Bay today and spend several weeks there, all self-sustaining. Let's go up to the flybridge and look at where you can operate the vessel and the Furuno Electronics package. Up in the flybridge, you'll find a full suite of Furuno Electronics. Down in the engine room is a CH250 side scan unit that of course can be displayed up here along with your charts, radar, and your up and down meter. There is a Simrad autopilot that is integrated with the hydraulic bow thruster. So if you're on a drift and want to orientate the boat a certain way, you can set the orientation with the autopilot and as the boat begins to rotate the hydraulic bow thruster will kick in and reposition the boat automatically. Uh, you have bow thruster controls, your engine controls, all the other standard radio orientations that you would expect from a true sport fisher. Up above is the bucket or the tower and that has full Furuno electronics as well, full controls, enough room for two or three guys in gyros to be looking for fish or running the boat or whatever you might need you can do from up top. As you'll see, the CFAB stainless work and fiberglass work can be seen throughout. And the enclosure is in excellent condition, ready to be fished today. As you can see, the cockpit is extremely spacious. There's plenty of room to fish, or entertain. You can have multiple guys bending on large bluefin tuna, each corner, down the middle, whatever you need, there's room for it. Here you can see the two additional split 60 gallon tanks and the sheer volume of the 280 gallon split tank here in the middle. And you can also get a better view of your access to your refrigeration and your lazarette. Continuing in the cockpit, you have your engine room access, which is located right here. You also have multiple drink freezer boxes for bait or beer or whatever you might like. You have a refrigeration space here. And then you also have an additional one located down here. There's storage space and ta a tackle prep bait prep center there with a small sink. Over on this side, you have tackle storage and then controls for if you're backing into a tight slip or need, need to control the boat while fighting a fish, you can do so from right here and not having to be up top. Let's go head up to the bow and look at the bait system up there, the tender and more CFAB work. Continuing in the bow, you'll find a 2018 13 and a half foot Novarania tender paired to a Yamaha outboard that only has about 40 hours. This is included with the sail. Moving forward, you'll find more CFAB stainless steel work with one and a half inch 
piping to one and a quarter inch stainless stanchions. Moving up forward, you'll find a custom made pulpit and also a bait tank here for marlin or swordfish fishing. One last feature I'd like to talk about in the tower are the side facing spreader lights. Uh, these lights are extremely important if you plan to do night fishing or fish tuna into the dark or attracting flying fish around the boat. You can do all that with those lights and of course there's aft facing spreaders as well. In the engine room you'll find a pair of MTU Series 60 engines that produce 825 horsepower apiece. The engines are paired to twin disc transmissions that have trolling valves which pair very well to the tuna tube inserts in the bait tanks. Uh, a few noteworthy mechanical features of this boat include that in 2019, 600 feet of hydraulic hosing was completely replaced. And last year, the stabilizer fins, the key power stabilizer fins were removed, all new bearings were put on and the seals were replaced. So the stabilization system is good to go. Over here, you'll find an Eskimo ice chipper, uh, a Hayward pool pump that runs the bait system, and various air conditioning condensers and pumps. Behind me is a fuel management system where you can control the flow of fuel and also which tank the fuel returns to. And then one feature that I find very, very cool and that bodes well to being a long range sport fisher is the fact that there's two separate oil tanks that are 46 gallons a piece. So you can hold 46 gallons of fresh good oil in one tank and then do an oil change on the fly, pump the oil that's in the engines into a 46 gallon holding tank. So it just allows you to do oil changes on the fly. So if you wanna go log hundreds of hours, you have the ability to do that without having to go into port to do so. Let's move forward in the engine room, look at the generators, sonar, and things like that. Forward in the engine room is a pair of 12 KW Northern Lights generators. Off to the port side is a sea recovery 1,000 gallon per day water maker that pairs very well to the two 100 gallon water tanks that are on board. Also, there are four fuel tanks that total 1,100 gallons. Off to the starboard side is the hydraulic system that controls the bow thruster and also uh, the six foot stabilizer fins. In the salon, you'll find a wet bar area to starboard that includes a U-line wine cooler, then also a U-line ice maker that's dedicated for drink ice and things like that. To port, you'll find a large L-shaped seating area that has an adjustable table. And there's a teak and holly sole throughout the dining area and the galley. And then all the woodwork is teak and holly as well. The windows are extremely tinted to allow for maximum privacy. So people can't see in, but you can easily see out. All the interior was completely replaced during the refit in 2006. Let's move forward to the well-appointed galley. The galley consists of four U-line refrigerators and freezers that are located underneath this countertop that can be each individually controlled. Uh, there's a trash compactor located under the countertop as well. Here you'll find four burner electric stove with an electric oven underneath. And one of my favorite features is this refrigerated sandwich bar. Before a trip, you can fill this up with sandwich toppings and things like that. And throughout the fishing day, crew and guests can just help themselves to a sandwich whenever they would like. And it's not taken away from a full on lunch uh, when you're trying to fish or look for tailors or something like that. Here you'll find more Teak and Holly cabinetry uh, with ample space for dishes and kitchenware. And to starboard, you have the dining area with the table with a table that slides back and forth. So the table is slid in now to give more room for the walkway, but when people are seated at the table, it can shift outwards, giving more room for the seating here. And of course, you have your flat screen television with satellite TV, so you can catch the game or uh, any shows that you might want. Let's move on downstairs to the living accommodations. Since the vessel was refit, it allowed for this area to be reconstructed. Typically, on a 50-foot Pacifica, this is the galley. But as we just saw, the galley was brought up, leaving opportunity for this area. It was created into a berth that has ample rod storage below, and along with other space for tackle or anything that you might need. 
Underneath the stairs leading up is access to freshwater pumps and just systems that you might need to quickly access you can do here. Since the galley was brought up, it turned this boat into a three stateroom, two head boat. Initially when these were, came out of the factory, they were just two stateroom, two heads. So let's move on into the master here, which is located to port. Coming in, you will find an awesome etched marlin glass piece above the bed that truly makes a statement. And you'll find another large berth that can be easily accessed from both sides with a flat screen TV forward. And then panning into the master head, you'll find that it's well lit and has plenty of room. And I would bet that this is the only Pacifica that has a glass shower door that can actually open and not accordion style. And then of course, there's the vacuum flush head in both bathrooms uh, that is fresh water operated. Let's go ahead and move forward here. Moving forward, you'll find another head and a bunk room that easily sleeps three. Each room has its own air conditioning control unit handler, uh, so you can set that how guests see fit. And then also there's a dedicated air conditioning for uh, the salon galley area as well. Let's go ahead and move back topside. As you've seen, the Motivator is truly a one-of-a-kind vessel that has been kept and maintained with an open checkbook since the owner's purchase in 1993. I hope you've enjoyed seeing just a small piece of the unique characteristics of the boat. She's ready for her new home.